sometime the worries of the world the flesh the lust of this world they push them to various type of relationships fun and they crush the word of god crush the presence of god in their lives and they no more very few give themselves to god and they bear the fruit of the lord today jesus might have been very much broken he tells peter peter do you love me he pleads him yearly young you were you went to wherever you went now you cannot go my son i trust you my son growth comes from within it is not from outside you have to learn to be with you you have to be aware of me inside you day and night be conscious of my presence inside you and you have to invest time with me to hear my voice my mission and you have to follow me your friends may say many thing your flesh may say many thing you have to learn to say no to all of them and follow only me but peter he says what about that fellow and that's why jesus said in matthew chapter 25 verse 29 he said to the man who has learned to receive the lord inside and learn to grow to the one who has more will be given to those who use well what are given that are given even more will be given and they will have an abundance but from those who do nothing even what little they have will be taken away now throw this useless servant into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth to the one who learns to develop the lord move into the lord my heart is the temple of the holy spirit my god has trusted me loved me and he is staying with me and i need to take him to every area of my life he thinks may not be happy to me things may not happen as i wish sadness brokenness disturbances unfaithfulness everything will be surrounding me people whom i trusted may not be faithful to me but what happens around me cannot shape my life i have to be with the lord and with his light i need to handle my life this is what jesus said to those who learn to keep me and constantly hear my mission and follow me they will be my witnesses john to a great extent he learned to be with the lord he laid his hands ne- neck on the chest of the lord he always heard the voice he loved the lord and god revealed the great things of heaven he could write the book of revelation today god is looking for people who can invest their time to be conscious of the lord inside them the lord who is with them there are so many noises all around if you are unless you focus unless you choose him you can't hear his voice his voice will be drowned in the noises we have to be with him we have to have fellowship with him anything happens around me we i have to bring everything to him and with his light with his vision with his knowledge i have to handle my life prayer is nothing but 
taking everything into the lord and being guided by the lord i do the things as he desires me to do let's close our eyes and pray miracle is not that when i pray something has to come from above some wonder should to come the real miracle is inside of each one of us where we begin to hear the voice of god where we begin to see our heart hungering and longing for god more than anything in the world the world supplies many things but the heart hungers for the intimacy with the god that is the real miracle if our hearts turn out to be a heart that hunger for god longing for the intimacy for god that is the real miracle if we can understand the vision of god and commit our life for that growing from within is the real miracle that's why jesus said the kingdom of god is within you that's why jesus said one who longs to keep me more and more will be given one who is not bothered to keep me even the little will be taken away and the future will be horrible let's close our eyes let you and me become the real miracle of the lord to have him in our hearts learn to love him and then move by him yes may the lord give us this grace thank you father thank you jesus thank you holy ghost till the end of my life help me to hear your voice